the rights and responsibilities of a woman as a wife this time around? Uh, the Granic approach is chapter 2, verse 228. Mm. Uh, it was talking about divorced women and so on. on the verse is long, mm. but uh, they are the, at the end of the verse, chapter 2, verse 228, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I want to be lying in the shaitan regime. Wala hunna mithru ladhi alayhi hinna bil ma'roof wali rijali alayhi hinna daraja. Wallahu alim al hakim. The verse was talking about uh, divorced women, how they should, they, what is due for them, what, what they should do. But at the end of the verse, uh, Allah says, and uh, due to the wives, that is a right. Eh? Mm. Due, it's a right. Mm. And due to the wives is similar to what is expected of them. That is a responsibility. Mm. But men, according to equitable terms, mm. but men or oh, husbands have a degree over them. Mm. So, which means a wife will have duties to give to a husband or will have, will have uh, responsibilities to put in place the way the man has. Mm. And the wife should have rights the way the man has. The, we talked about human rights. Mm. The right to live, the right for respect, the mm. right to discipline and like. But men have a degree over them. Men in this verse means husbands. Yes. Wali rijali alayhi nadaraja. Men have a degree over them. This brings us to one, to one uh, fact that any family should have a head. Any institution. Yes. should have a head. And this verse gives men the, the right to head a family. The family. Mm. And this verse gives husbands to have the last word in case of any argument. Mm. This, this verse gives men to be in charge of the family. family. Mm. There's also another verse, chapter 4, verse 34, Surah Nisa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I want to be lying in the shaitan regime. A rijalu kawamuna ala nisa bima fadlala allahu bihi ba'lukum ala ba'd wa bima anfaqu min amwalihim. 434. Men are in charge of women mm. by right. In charge of women in, by in. right. And the reason is given. Mm. Because of what Allah has given one over another. Mm. Because Allah has given, given one over, over another. Yes. You know, Allah judges, Allah guides. Mm. And the second reason is that because of what they spend from their wealth for maintenance. Mm. The word arijal in this verse means husbands. Mm. Because in the Arabic, rajal means man. But with this definite article, it means the husband. Mm. Even in the other verse, we say wali rijal, and the husband have mm. a degree over women. women. Mm. So as we said before, uh, always Quran has an addressee. The verse the, is yes. for who? Who is the consumer of the verse? I not advise. So you may find you may find people. Maybe you are in a bank, and you are lining up for services. And now there are women and men in the line. Mm. And then you say, you know, we are men we and are we men should be served and, first. And no, we should be loyal to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Some the people, bank, so if know. you use the verse in a wrong, in a wrong yes. situation, mm. you bring confusion. And really. we always uh, see it, by the way. Uh, we always see a it. person mm. bringing those verses mm. in, in a wrong, in a wrong environment. environment. Yes. So therefore, uh, a rijal in this verse means husbands, husbands. and a rijal in the other verse of 2, 228 means husbands also. Mm. Mm. And the reasons we are stated that they spend from their means. Mm. It also brings about another question. Some some wives neglect their right responsibilities. And responsibilities. For example, a man says we have children, we are deciding about the schools where the children should go. 
it is the responsibility of the man to pay the fees. Not Be, so? Because he knows But now the woman income. is saying the children should go to this school. Yes. And you know, it causes violence in the homes. Mm. On the other hand, we have a husband, some bad husbands who neglect their responsibilities. Yes. And because I have a woman who is a member of parliament who and who earns like a thousand dollars, five thousand dollars a month, and therefore I should not pay for the power that we use in the home. That is wrong. If a man neglects his duties, he, I mean his duties and responsibilities, he's surrendering his rights to the woman. To the woman. And there is going to be case. The woman will say, I will not be royal. You will not be royal. It will be hard. It so Allah, be hard. Allah had to make it very clear for us because family is a very important, is a very important institution mm. in the life of Islam. This also brings us to another another question where where about wealth. We yeah. are about wealth. Suppose the woman has more money. Mom, yes, uh, that is where I was heading. Yes, Suppose uh, that <laughs> you know women of today have mm. more wealth. Even mm. in, in the period before the coming of the Quran, yeah. Lady Khadija. Lady Khadija, 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 Khadija to yes. Kumbura, may mm. Allah be pleased Please. with her, was mm. richer yes. than her husband, mm. Sayyid al -Khalf. The best of creatures. His wife was richer than like him. him. Yes. And you know, they, they never quarreled. They never had any confusion. They never had any, any violence in their home. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best among us is the best, um, is the, the, the best with his family, like who treats his family well. Mm. And I'm the best. So the prophet was the best husband, was the best, uh, was the best father, was the best neighbor. They say, I'm, and I'm the best when it comes to family. So his wife was richer than him, mm. but they never had any Inquiry. confusion. So what we need to do is that just to know your role if your wife, just know your role if you are your the husband. husband. If, if cases come, maybe um, a woman. we have issues of meals. meals mm. Like a husband can afford to feed his family mm. at, a one, at maybe $10 a day. Mm. But the wife wants a life of where she uses $50, $50, $50 a, day. a day. It is yeah. her right because she has the money. Mm. But what I'm telling a husband, please continue spending the $10. Ten. Let her add on. Because it is your yeah, responsibility. But don't stop giving this ten dollars. Because when you stop, then she would have conquered you. Yes. Yeah. So don't stop giving the ten dollars. Let her add on another thirty or forty. That is her right. Yes. So, so, so it is the right of a husband to enjoy loyalty and obedience from his uh, his from wife. The wife. Mm. 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 So. Uh, those are rights and responsibilities, and we come to conjugal rights. People talked about conjugal rights mm. because now the the, the the UN the UN Human Rights Declaration and mm -hmm. what you know, they say you don't post people into something some something that they don't, they want. don't want. Conjugal rights, mm. they, uh, according to Islam, mm. the the husband has a right. Mm to enjoy the conjugal rights from his wife. From the wife. From the wife. It mm. is a right. And it is the responsibility of a woman also to comply. So we are always teaching these things according to Islam. You may not agree with them. You may find some crit criticism. But I always tell you, it's a knowledge gap. And once you quote Islam, in isolation, you quote a verse in isolation. You always, you may pick that one and move with we, it. We are letting the Quran talk. We let the, the Quran, Quran talk. talk. Kindly share, send ah. your comments. Let the Quran talk. Yeah. It's the best program ever. I'm yeah, enjoying I'm myself. Either. Can you imagine? <laughs> yes, you are the first student. I'm the first student. Yeah. Yes. So the rights of a woman mm. uh, should be to enjoy uh, maintenance, mm. like a hospital, like a food. Like uh, clothing, clothing, like uh, taking care of, yes, like, uh, taking care of yourself, like a uh, power, like water, accommodation, accommodation, men. Oh, 
nowadays. If you let that kingdom <laughs> go away, accommodation is a kingdom. Shakat, nowadays, mm. men leave the responsibility of accommodation to women. And mm. I'm very glad that no, you've I'm said <laughs> you're letting your kingdom. <laughs> That's a kingdom, my brother. Mm. If, you, if you surrender, mm. if you cannot provide accommodation, however small it can be, let it. May if, you be the owner. At of least the if she wants the best, let her add. But but you put have your the, input. If you surrender that thing felt. over accommodation, uh, then you have remained with nothing. And then food, feeding the family. If you cannot feed a woman, then there is a problem. Clothing, you may. You may not be able to buy the clothing of, of, of her, maybe choice, but provide some at your level. Mm. And then women, women, responsibilities. If, if you let the conjugal rights to go in balance, you are surrendering your kingdom also. Very women. well. Yes. Yes. Women, if you are always argumentative, you argue over this, you argue that you are not obedient, you are surrendering your kingdom. Yes. So family is a small kingdom that is that can be owned by anybody, not only for kings. And Allah let it for us and guided us in the Quran. And the Prophet talked about so many things in, uh, on family. He, the Prophet said, uh, there's one hadith that we are maybe winding up with. Mm. The prophet said, if I was to command somebody to prostrate before another person, I would have commanded another uh, a woman to prostrate, to do sujud mm. to her husband. Mm. You know, this hadith sometimes is also <laughs> misused. Uh, yes, but the prophet admired. He didn't have the authority, but he admired. I wish I had. Mm. This, but he admired. So, if he admired something to be done, it means he didn't say it, he didn't command it. Mm. But he wanted us to know the extent mm. of the right of the husband. Because if this person loses his rights and he has no say in the affairs of the family and he's always quiet, and so the Prophet said he will not even enter Jannah if you let your family, family to be controlled, controlled by somebody, somebody else. else. We have in-laws, like the family of the wife, coming to control the, 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 the house of their daughter. daughter. Our daughter is eating this. Why don't you buy this? Uh, if you keep quiet and you are the husband, uh, the Prophet says you will never even smell. <laughs> <laughs> you never even enter Jannah. Yeah. So uh, the, the other hadith where the Prophet said, if I was, if I had the authority, I, I really, I admire if I had the authority to tell, to command a creature to prostrate before another creature, I would have told the wife to prostrate before the husband. That's so simple, that is sim simply means the no, prophet admired mad. that he would have said it, but he didn't say go and prostrate. Yes. The other important thing is that the wife must be loyal, must be must be obedient to the husband as long as the husband does not the, whatever the husband wants does not contradict to the teachings, teachings of, of Islam. Islam. For example, if a husband says, uh, "I don't want that hijab of yours. I want to see you in a skirt, go to town like that," because that's what I want. I'm the husband. Just put off that please. veil. Uh, <laughs> because what he wants contradicts to the law the of office. hijab. Yes. We have uh, different uh, forms of ibadah, like if a husband says, uh, I brought this, uh, what? Robot or a toy for you. This is your God, now worship it. There we don't. Uh, yes. So whatever the husband wants and whatever the woman is supposed to comply with should be in conformity mm. with the teachings of Islam, of Islam, which means other factors remain mm. constant. constant. Now, Thank you very much. This brings us to the end of our program. Let mm. the Quran talk. Yeah. It's the best program. I'm always here. Please send your comments, share, and we shall be giving you a lot of topics, inshallah. inshallah. Uh, your uh. last, in just two seconds, your last words to our dear viewers as you sign out. Uh, dear viewers, other teachings have taken over Islam. They, are, they caught us by surprise. Mm. 
they took the economic systems of Islam, mm. they took away the political systems of Islam, mm. they took away everything that we had, mm. and we all surrendered it. The only institution that you are remained with is family. Mm. Please, don't put it in a basket to sell it to anybody. You have the authority, you have the authority, you have the, the, the responsibility of telling your family, designing a standard and say for us before breakfast mm. we, we pray duha mm. nobody will arrest you for that mm. for us before this we do this apply islam at least at a family level it is still possible in all countries kindly don't surrender the institution of family you would have lost everything thank you very much yes until next time i'm your host shabira nasa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh